Hey guys, Rebox Skater here today, and I've got an unboxing from Wush. I uh, got a Wush deck a few days ago, and I did a hand painted totem pole release, and I got totem 6. And um, yeah, let's get into this. Right, so first off, shipping. Let's do shipping because it was in the UK, so it was quick out, so I'm going to totally big up the shipping. So. I ordered it on Wednesday and it's a Friday now, which is so good. I'm so used to ordering stuff from afar, uh, you know, Europe or America, and just ordering it and almost just forgetting about it until until it arrives. So this was so nice; it's already here. So let's crack this open and have a gander at what's inside. Ooh, a little baggy, some bubble wrap, and that's that. Right, we'll get rid of this. Boom. Oh, a nice little sort of cotton bag here. So let's put that knife away and empty this out. Got two bits of whoosh tape or I'm not sure what the exact name for it is feels very grippy very nice right what else we got here we got a whoosh vinyl by the looks of things and a many thanks for supporting whoosh hope you enjoyed the deck cheers bingo and here we go which was nothing else than that put these tape in there we'll put this all in there actually so that I know what's going on Right, so here we go. Look at that. Whoa, you can see the sparkle on it. It's sort of... Wow, it's so much harder to see like on the images on the site, but it's it's got this... Yeah, you can see it's like a purpley, greeny sort of... Wow. And it's almost like sparkly. And then the graphic just sort of oh, just goes off into that black on the side, as you can see there. Let's have a look at the plies here. The light might not be perfect for the plies. Oh yeah, there we go. So what are these ply combos? You've got that brown on top. This nice solid colour. Let's just bring this out a bit. And then we've got a black, and then a white or a maple, maybe. And then, whoa, even the side's got that sparkliness to it. This is crazy. And then a dark one, and then that bottom ply. It's got medium kicks, a lot, a lot more medium than what I normally ride a flat face or my homeward. It's got higher kicks than that, but I'm actually quite pleased with that, I feel like. That might help with flicking and stuff. Low concave and nice dips. There we go. Nice smooth lacquer all over. Nicely rounded on the edges. Holes. They look spot Nicely countersunk. Got a little arrow here for the nose. So I know which way to uh, point the deck. Some details here. About the uh, about it, so it's thirty three, thirty three point nine times ninety six point five. I noticed that the ones on the site, depending on which totem you got, they fluctuated. So that's quite cool that they're not always a standard size. You know, maybe we might have a point, a point eight here or a point five there, which is quite cool and makes each one completely unique. Yeah, so finally the lacquer, as you can see, nice and shiny, and this sparkling effect is just crazy. So in this black bit here, it's in person, it's like a greeny, purpley, even bluey design, which is amazing. And then with the totem pole fade, it just looks beautiful. And it's even got a number on how many he's made. So this is the 113th deck he's ever made, I think, if that's correct. And he's doing a good job, I'd say. Just look at it. Right. Thanks for watching, guys. 
any uh, often first impressions I'd say that wash decks look pretty sound and I'd give them a go but obviously we'll probably give this bad boy a review in a couple of weeks or maybe up to a month once I've had the time to really wear it in and I'll give you more of a an honest review obviously first impressions are very good at the minute like this little bag is is sweet <laughs> right thanks for watching guys and yeah bingo